Hello everybody, welcome to part 13 of the smog tutorial. So far you should have completed the stomach, or part of the stomach, as well as the main dragon and the legs. This portion we will be attaching the legs, so have them ready. Okay, so again we are going to be using our burgundy and caramel bands. So just follow me here. So we're going to put caramel, I mean uh, burgundy, double burgundies on the edge. But we are going to stop two lengths from the bottom, two peg lengths, so just follow me. So we're stopping there. Okay, let's do the same thing on the other side. Whoops. Okay, now we're going to be doing a caramel and burgundy each time. All right, and we're going to go down all three center rows with the caramel, just the caramel. All right, let's do our horizontals.
Okay, let's grab our stomach. Attaching the ends. Okay. So as usual, the two edges we're gonna be doing putting the loose band. So wrap it around, then lift up the top two. And place on the band. Replace. Okay, you can even loop up this row if you want to. Well, I might as well. Okay, again with the edge, put the bottom two bands over, and put your loose band and replace bands. Alright, and then we're just going to loop up all the rows, tie off our ends, and pull it off. Same thing we've been doing. Alright, pull your loose bands outward and pull off your tying bands.
Okay. Cool. Maybe. So, in this next portion, we will be attaching the legs. Alright, so, da, 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 just follow me here. We are taking two burgundies at a time. going down six times. Then we're going to go diagonally here. And we're going to go all the way to the bottom. All right, <clears throat> we're gonna take burgundy and caramel. Gosh, somebody has loud shoes. <laughs> somebody upstairs. Okay, okay. and now we're going to take two caramels at a time. From here to here. Same thing the other way, here to here, and going down. Oh wait, this goes like this. Okay, time for horizontals, so browns, we're going to stretch all the way across all four. Always take two bands at a time for your horizontals. Here I'm going to stretch them all the way across, and then the next one, I'm going to do two, and two, two, and two, two, and two. Whoops. Two. Two. 
And then we're going to take double loop single bands. And we're going to go across these. Okay. Now, take your stomach. And you, if you look at the end, the very tip that we started with, make, make it so it's curving down and we're attaching it in that direction. It doesn't matter that much, but just for perfectionist's sake. Yeah. Alright. So we'll pull off the tying band on the edge, wrap around, then pull up the top two, and wrap or and put your tying band on and then replace. Okay. Same thing here. Or not same thing, you know, just wrapping it around. That's what we've been doing. Oh my goodness. Stomping. And then at the edge again, taking off the loose band, wrapping the bottom two around, then taking the loose band, putting it there, and replacing. All right, we're going to put our loose bands on the edges. Okay, now, you're going to take your legs, this is how you're going to face them, okay? Make sure your thumbs are facing each other, like this. So this leg is going to go on this side, and this leg is going to go on this side. Alright. Let's see, do I want it like this? Yeah. Hold on one second, I just want to make sure I have them angling in the right direction. Yeah, okay. And the thigh is outward. Okay, so they're like this. We're going to start with this leg. You're going to turn it like this. Okay. And you're going to go through the first set of loose bands here on the side. You're going to wrap them right around this peg here at the end. Okay, then you're going to loop up. Okay, once you've done that, you're going to attach the next set. Some of these have thick sets to go through, so make sure you go through all the bands. Once you've done that, you can loop up the next set. Okay, now, so we attached two of the ends. We're going to loop up once and twice here. We're going to attach the third end to here, but you know what? Before we do that, let's just loop up these. can actually go up the whole rest of the way here. With the dark brown. Okay, so I went all the way up there. Alright, so now I'm going to go through the third loose end. Making sure to go through all the loops. Like 
that. And then looping up once and wrapping the final end around that peg there, okay? So the leg is like this, okay? It should look like that. Should be able to bend down with the knee here and the thumb there. Alright, once we've done that, we can loop up this row. Oh my gosh, somebody must be wearing boots up there. <laughs> so sorry, everybody. <laughs> Alright, my burgundy bands fell off, so I'm just putting them back on. Alright, you're going to face your leg opposite of that one, obviously, so go through this set. It goes here. Here. All right, loop up once. Don't know if I got the right man there. I think I did, but uh, I don't know if I did or not. Okay, and then. You're gonna. I have to make sure I grab the right set. There we go. Alright, and then we're gonna go through the next set here. And it's gonna go right onto here. And then we're gonna loop up the rest. Go all the way up. Yes. Okay. Do, do, do. Why did that not go right? Hold on. <laughs> I'm a perfectionist here, which means that this has to go on right. All right, now we're going to loop up twice up this row. And we're going to grab our third loose end, this one here. And that's going to go here. What? Okay. Alright, continuing. Alright, let's go up this one and these ones. Twice on this side, and then twice. <laughs> on this side. And don't forget these guys down here. Don't forget them. Figures my horizontal band still isn't right here. <laughs> Grr. Fix that. There we go. That should be. That should do the trick. Okay. And then tying off your ends.
cool. All right, so as usual, we're going to take off the tying bands around the legs. So all the bands around the legs you can take off, and hopefully you attach the legs right so that they won't come apart. Band there, but there is still one attached, so that's good. One of the two didn't attach. Oops, see, I attached that one wrong, which means I have to tie that together. So if it comes apart, you just gotta kind of just grab the loose, grab the loose bands, and grab a tying band, just tie it with a slip knot. And then you could probably just bring it into the leg. It happens sometimes. Not the end of the world if that happens. Okay. All right, so once you've pulled all those off, then you pull your bands to the edges, and yay. All right, so let's see how this looks. Perfect. All right, awesome. So we are going to finish up here with the tail. Just a couple more steps to do. Get it up nine times. Okay, so just grab your burgundy here. Two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine times. I'm do the same thing here. Two. Whoops. Oh my gosh. Okay, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, and then as usual with the burgundy and caramel down the middle.
Oh wait, no, let's go like this. There. And then here. Okay. So again, taking our burgundy horizontals. Grab your stomach and attach your four remaining loose ends to those pegs. Again, taking off the edge, the tying band off the edge sets, lifting up the top two bands and placing a burgundy band there. Before we loop up, we want to attach and put our loose bands on the edge. Silly me. <laughs> Don't forget that. That's pretty important. Okay. Okay, let's wrap our second end around the pig. Up to there. Third end. And this one you want to take off the tie, put on this band, oh wait, no, sorry, hit it. Put the first set down, then put the loose band on. See, I'm losing it, guys. I've done this for too long. Ha <laughs> And don't forget to put your loose bands on these edges as well. So do that. We're gonna we're about to the home stretch. We're getting there. Okay, tie off your three ends. Okay, pull off your tying bands here. All right, so we're almost, almost there. Just check. All right, two, one, two, two, three. Okay. All right, so anyway, almost there. We're taking um, burgundy bands, okay. 
Okay, taking two at a time. Two, three, four, five, and then we are taking two this way and this way, and then we're going to go down three times on each side. One, two, three. Actually, no, four times. I'm going to go down four times on each side. So one, two, three, four, here, here, and then we're going to take a caramel and a burgundy here, and here. All right, take your burgundies. I'm going to go across like this. your stomach. Put your hook through the end set and take off that band. Place. Okay, let's do the remaining edge bands here. Okay, we're gonna loop. We're not gonna loop anything. We're gonna attach the middle. Then we're gonna loop up the two diagonal sets. So, but you want to put a burgundy band on the edge for this guy. So put one right here before you loop that. All right, and then get this guy, and we can kind of loop up this row. Like that, okay. Go through this set, pull off the band. Lay the bottom two bands down, put your Edge band on. Loop up once, and then we want to put the rest of our edge bands on. So here, here, and here. Loop up. And then we're going to put two on each of these. So two here, two here. Two here, two here, and two here. Loop up these first, then these, then go up these. And then we can just use one band at the end off your end and pull that off. Yay! Pull off any remaining tying bands except for obviously the burgundy one at the very tip. Okay. Pull all your loose bands outward toward the edge. like that. All right. Some of them might be sticking up weird like that one on mine. Don't panic about that. It'll be fine. All right. So we have our stomach. So in the next portion of the video, make sure you have your wire because we will be wiring up the dragon. And then in the final portion, we will be um, stitching him and stuffing him. All right. See you over there. Hope you're enjoying this project. We're almost there. Yay.